a disclaimer i want to put this thing out there and just tell you that i am a work in progress and a masterpiece like i'm not yet where i want to be but as i'm going on this self-discovery journey i like that i'm carrying all of you along and that's what this video is about like i'm not as rich as i want to be but i am rich rich in so many things <laughs> So, hi everyone my name is Ricky Karim and welcome to my youtube channel today we're going to be talking about how to get into your rich girl era if you're thinking oh my god I want to be rich I want to have some money I want to be able to live a glamorous lifestyle well this video is for you because I'm going to be giving you all the teas all the tricks all the hacks to enter into your rich girl era let's get into the video mindset is the first thing you need to tweak by your mindset you need to know that there is enough money for everybody there is lots and lots of money and remove that scarcity mindset i know it is it's very easy for people to worry about money honestly i feel like i do it sometimes too but i'm consciously trying to be like hey stop i worry a lot about money i'm like even when i know that i'm spending the money on the right things is there a way to like keep the money but seriously you have to spend money to make money. And when Allah Subhanahu wa Taala has blessed you with a certain amount of money, really do what you need to do with the money, and be thankful that you even you even have that amount of money to do whatever it is that you want to do. A couple of days ago, my charger got spoiled. I wasn't planning on spending money on charger. It really hurt me so much. I went to buy a new charger. Trust me, I was more dramatic than this. I was very very upset. I went to buy a new charger, and I was so angry, very angry that. Why did I have to buy a new charger? But then there was a point in time where I had to do like a shift in my mindset where Alhamdulillah, I even have the money to replace my charger as soon as it got spoiled. What about if I didn't have it at all? What about if I didn't have it? So all that scarcity mindset, all that thing that is holding you back when it comes to making money, having money, drop it. Your mindset needs to be tweaked. If you feel within yourself that you don't have that strength to feel like you're rich, you're abundant. Transfer all that body into Allah. Tell him, Yeah, Allah, I want you to make me rich. And he's gonna come true for you. Do you get? Like, just transfer all that to him and it's gonna get easier. Make money. Yes, baby girls, make money. See, you cannot step into your rich girl era without actually having money. So find a way to make money. I don't care who your husband is, I don't care who your father is, I don't care who your brother is. Even if you're getting like money from somebody, try and make some money by yourself. Um, honestly, easier said than done. Everything that I'm saying right now is easier said than done, but it is applicable. Like you can try. And just like I said, it is a journey. Like you might not achieve it right now. You might achieve it and get down again. Like for me, that's where I am. Sometimes I feel like I'm getting these things right. And other days it's just like, oh, I don't think I'm going to do this. But yeah. It's a journey and you can do it. So yes, make money. And please, don't have one stream of income. That's like you murdering yourself. Don't do that. Have two, three streams of income. For instance, now, I have a 9 to 5. I have a YouTube channel. And I'm hoping that very soon, my YouTube channel is going to be fetching me lots of money. Guys, please make sure you subscribe to my channel and like this video so that your girl can be cashing out. But yes, my YouTube channel is another source of income for me even though it's still coming up but my instagram is doing well because i make like voiceovers for brands and i do shout out videos for brands so yeah i make money there too i also teach people how to create content online if you want to make great transition videos all those awesome stuff yep i teach people and i make money you get i'm also thinking about selling like a physical product because i have like two online courses that i make money from but i don't have any physical product i'm actually scared of having a physical product because who's going to do the delivery like it's a whole lot of work but i'm looking into it so that i can step into my rich girl era oh, come money. closer save your money guys save your money that's all i'm gonna say and let it be the first thing you do pay yourself first as soon as you make that money no matter how little it is put it aside for yourself maybe your dream Maybe you want to take a course, maybe you want to go on a vacation, maybe you want to buy some new clothes, maybe you want to change your wardrobe. Set the money aside. Pay yourself first. No matter how small it is, please pay yourself first. Because the day you're going to pack that savings, it's going to look like a gift. Like someone just stashed you the money because 
you're still going to receive your normal money and then you're going to receive that one that you've been saving for yourself so try i know it's not so easy but try and save money and this moves me into the next point which is budgeting this makes me feel some kind of way because i suck when it comes to budgeting i have a budget but like i'm so not disciplined i would go over my budget as soon as i see something that captures my heart and i'm really working on that because like i want to step into my rich girl era you know have some money others something so yes i have to be disciplined you have to be disciplined too have a budget know how much you're spending know what you're spending these things on my sister told me the other time that you know the first step to having a budget is just watch your spending habits watch what you spend your money on just watch it first after you do that you already know what you spend your money on then have a budget include entertainment into that budgeting like if you like to go out if you like to watch movies on netflix if you like to go to watch movies in the mall if you like to do the dstv sub and all those things that you just enjoy yourself include it in the budget don't take it out because those things are very important and they're kind of like our dopamine hits if you get what i mean like entertainment makes you happy so if you're having a bad day or you're going through stuff it's one of the things that actually would easily take your money and you're just going to keep going because it's entertainment that is so third point that i'm going to be talking about is charity see i know that some people want to wait until they are millionaires before they start giving charity or they are until they are much more financially stable to give charity but let me tell you something anybody that gives you money they don't give you money because they are rich they don't give you money because they have spent more than enough nobody ever gets enough money anybody that gives you money gives you out of kindness gives you out of them depriving themselves of something that they want to have so please try no matter how little it is give it to the people that matter your loved ones your family your friends make sure you're as charitable as you can be give out money okay don't be a cuckoo and don't be miserly i don't want to hear that i'm broke there's always somebody that you can give something to and it does not matter how big it is from the initial trust me it's going to get bigger because i've seen it happen live like people that are very charitable allah has a way of giving them back and suddenly you they give you if they give you 2k today tomorrow they're giving you 20k next tomorrow they're giving you 200k next they are giving you 1 million like allah is just increasing their pocket so please let your money have baraka let it have blessing no matter the amount you have try and remove some part of your money give it to family give it to friends give it to the needy this is supposed to be the first thing i talked about in this video because this is very important like i get it that we're trying to make some money i get it that we're trying to budget save spend all of those things but when you want to spend money right try to invest it in the right things how you look get classy stuff for yourself from your headgear to maybe your hair to your cloak to your bag invest in your looks like from head to toe you need to know what you want the kind of style like you need to know your style and what you want to look like and how what you want to represent when you get into a room so you need to represent it fully and that would mean that you have to spend some money purchasing the items that you used to look your best invest in your skills makeup skills whatever invest in it there's so many skills out there think about it what is it that you're good at and invest in it i feel like this um invest in your looks and spoil yourself that's what people see and they just conclude that that's the rich girl era they don't see the part where you actually make money where you learn to save the money where you let to budget and be more disciplined where you give charity where, they don't see all this part all they see is the part where you spoil yourself you, you look really good and that's why as much as it's important to do all these things beforehand you need to also learn how to look good figure out what your style is and look good and then spoil yourself if it's a skincare that is your thing pamper your skin take yourself on vacation buy designer stuff for yourself and let me tell you something about buying designer stuff they last longer if you go and buy shit and it's not so good and it falls yeah you, own. you wasted your money but you should buy something that is nice you're going to use it for years and you're even going to dash it to people when you're done using it do you get that kind of nice investment so that's the kind of things you should be investing in right spoil yourself with good stuff take care of yourself baby girl go on nice parts get like very nice luxurious cream get nice makeup so please, if you enjoyed this video make sure that you like subscribe and comment